So what we're looking at here is the rest of my Jurassic Park collection. Uh, it's made up of things that my mum found in the attic after the previous collection video, uh, new stuff and items that were meant to be in the previous uh, video but didn't make it and now they're going to be in this one. Um, it might be a bit difficult for me because I'm using a camera that's run out of battery and uh, I'm going to have to use this wire and I'm using one hand obviously. Um, so I guess I'll go through it. Yeah the cat's not a part of the collection, that's TC and he's being awkward by sleeping right there. Anyway, so here we have uh, my latest Jurassic Park shirt. Um, it's a bit creased because I've just got it out of the wash. I wear this all the time. Um, you may have seen it in some previous videos. I got this a month after the first collection video so yeah just the classic logo on a shirt and I figured I needed it. Um, this is my old Lost World t-shirt I got when I was little back in 1997. That's of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we have some trading cards that were going to be in the other video but um, I couldn't find them in time and when I found them in a tub I, I smacked myself and said oh, I remember putting them in there. But uh, yeah, so we've got a Triceratops one here, it's really cool, we've got the baby T-Rex, Ceratosaurus, uh, T-Rex one, although the T-Rex doesn't look like the one from Jurassic Park but still pretty cool, uh, Coelophysis, Raptors, Pteranodons, which is actually a scene from the book, um, and a Brachiosaurus one. Um, I've always loved this one because a T-Rex eating a Brachiosaurus. Now I want to see that on screen, maybe in Jurassic Park 4, if they would be so nice. Um, here we have old birthday cards. Now my mum found these in the attic. Um, we've got one here, it's the Jurassic Park one, when I was five. And you open it up and it's got a bit about the, uh, the dinosaur. That's from my nan and granddad. Here you have two raptor ones. One from my mum for the Lost World. And this one's a Lost World as well, and that's from my auntie and uncle at the time. So, yeah, couldn't believe when my mum found those. I was uh, flabbergasted. Uh, here, if people have watched my uh, other collection video, you may recognise this little fella with his missing foot. And I said in the video that I was looking to replace him. Well, the story goes that me and my sister were going to a car boot where people sell all their junk out the back of a car. And uh, I, well, I was looking for Jurassic Park aliens and predator stuff and my sister was looking for a fire guard with her boyfriend and uh, you know the best place to find any Jurassic Park stuff is at a car boot sale and they were adamant I wasn't going to find anything and lo and behold I did, I mean I'll, there's quite a few things here that I actually found there on that one day um, but the irony is that my sister never found her fire guard, which is the one thing that is always at a car boot. Anyway, so I found a replacement Coelophysis with a foot, which is cool. So I replaced him, but I will never get rid of this one because this is the one I loved as a kid. But yeah, there we go. And he's like almost brand new. Got a Lost World wallet here, which I had when I was little. Still works. Nothing's broken on it, so I was like, hmm, might use that now. Um, these were in the previous video, these little metal figurines, but I wanted to put them in this video again because when I went to that car boot, I found the rest of them. So you've got the Dilophosaurus here, you've got the Stegosaurus, you've got the Tyrannosaurus, Plesiosaurus, Iguanodon, and Parasaurolophus. It's a bit chipped, but I wanted it. Now, the annoying thing is, uh, now I've got all these, um, you know, I'm amazed, I'm... I'm, I'm very thankful that I managed to find these, but I'm now missing one, which is the uh, Ankylosaurus, if I do believe, but only one is missing, so I'll have to look out for that. Um, my friend Will, for my birthday last year, got me these two comics, these uh, were printed in 2011, uh, they're from this series called Dangerous Games, and I've got issue two and three, they're really cool, um, I like that they're keeping the... Uh, the old Jurassic Park franchise alive today. I mean, we all know it's going to explode if they do release the fourth film in 2014, uh, like they're saying they will, but, you know, we'll see. Um, this was in my previous video as well, 
but the, the reason I put this one back in this one was I didn't explain how ruined this one was. I mean, the pages are all falling out. But when I went to that car boot, yet again, I found the Lost World making of book. So the same one, but it's brand new basically. It's untouched. So I bought that for 50p. And uh, again, I'm not going to replace this one, but now I've got one that I can really look after. My mum also found in the attic this Jurassic Park sticker book. Um, yeah, it hasn't got many stickers in, which is a shame because uh, if they were to re-release these, oh man, I would be all over this, trying to get every single one. Yeah, it's just really cool. It's got all like the, the electrified fence stickers and uh, you know the areas of the park. That's just really cool. And some production stills. Grant looks a bit creepy there. Um, yeah. So that was really cool to find that. Um, Yep, I got the Blu-rays, like I said I was going to, but I went for the big one. I got this crate, this, this is basically a Jurassic Park crate, if I move the, that there you can see it's a Jurassic Park crate. And what was in this was a certificate of authenticity, to say that it's a limited edition copy, because it came with this, which is a Jurassic Park gate with a T-Rex bursting out of it, which is really, really cool. Um, so I was over the moon when I got this. It cost me about £80 and it came with the Blu-rays which are so beautiful if I can open this. Um, I haven't got much room on the bed, thank you TC. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just absolutely fantastic. It's got all the discs in there. It just looks beautiful and the one thing I was worried about the Blu-rays was uh, the special effects in Jurassic Park 1 because I'm adamant that they're the best CGI ever put on screen. I think they're rendered so well that they merge with the footage and look so believable. And uh, I was worried when the Blu-rays were coming out uh, whether they would transfer well. But it did and they just look fantastic. Um, even better in fact than uh, most CGI today still. Now talking of the films they re-released the film not long after I uh, made my collection video, I think of, you know, three or four months afterwards. So I got a chance to go to see Jurassic Park at the cinema. I went with my mum and my friends. Uh, I went twice. So I've got my cinema tickets of Jurassic Park now. Got one there for Odeon and one there for View. Jurassic Park. But yeah, I was so amazed to see that and I'm so glad that that was in 2D. But now next year, uh, 2013 uh, they're going to re-release it in 3D so you know being an avid Jurassic Park fan and watching it for 2D all this time yeah I can't lie I'm intrigued to see what it's going to look like in 3D the one shot I'm looking forward to the most is when the raptor jumps up uh, through the roof at Lex and its face comes through I think that's going to be a really cool effect now we've got some unlicensed Jurassic Park stuff here um, this was for a load of toys called Dino Quest now I put this in here because that, even though it's got a stupid spine on its back, that is so blatantly a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus, even though it's got another one spine on its head. So yeah, copycat. I also went to the Natural History Museum of London and got myself a raptor claw because I, you know, I'm too poor to buy a replica of Alan Grant's one. So I bought this one for the time being. So over here you've got the Jurassic Park Paypo, I think I'm pronouncing that right, uh, toys. Now, because uh, I work at Hamley's, uh, they started selling these and I went, oh my god, I've got to get these. So I got staff discount as well. Here we have the Pachycephalosaurus, which is, you know, I mean they're not licensed by Jurassic Park, they just use the designs. And so I've gone, yeah, they're for Jurassic Park. I mean, they're beautiful. Beautiful toys, yeah. You've got the package of the source. You've got the baby T-Rex here, which uh, his mouth opens, if I can do this with one hand. Ugh. Yeah, his mouth opens, a lot of detail in there. They're just so great. Um, you've got the Raptor. It's quite weird, because this one looks a lot, a lot like the Raptor from Jurassic Park 1 and 2, but with the paint scheme of the male raptors from the third film but without the frills so I kind of like this design I think it's really cool and his mouth opens as well uh, yeah I want to get two of these so I'll be getting them 
Uh, over here you've got the Stegosaurus, which I think looks so much like the ones from the Lost World, so I went, yep, that's the one from the Lost World. Can't deny it. Colour scheme and everything. And here we have, yes, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this is just monumental, I thought. When I got this, I just thought this thing just looks absolutely fantastic. It just looks so much like the one from the film. They've got the paint scheme down, I think, like the one from the third film. Uh, and I know they released a brown version, but they changed the end of his nose so it wasn't right. Um, you know, you're going to have to look that up to really understand what I mean. Um, but this just looks fantastic, and his mouth closes, and oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. So this sits on my mantle now, like the king is. And I love that they've put it in the pose. If you look carefully, it's actually the pose when the... Uh, the banner, when dinosaurs rule the earth, falls down. So now we're moving on to a more personal section of my collection. Um, when my mum was clearing out the attic, she found a box of old school books. She asked me to, you know, go through them and see what I wanted destroyed or things I wanted to keep. And these three were three of the ones that I wanted to keep um, to add into this video. So I can't specifically say which year they're from but I know it's a long time ago now this one here is uh, I don't know if you can see in the light but it says Jurassic Park and uh, has a picture of a T-Rex now this was for a talk at school I do believe it says <laughs> these are hilarious Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton the book was a best-selling novel of worldwide box office Splashed effects were put in the film. Brilliant. It was very good and the T-Rex looked almost real. Yeah, because that looks almost real, Jack. A T-Rex, like we didn't know. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that's funny. And then on the back it continues this. There is a second film based on, but spelt one with an E crossed out, the novel The Lost World. As Drew will talk about. Drew's my friend, Drew Warner. Um, yeah, we must have done the talk together at school at some point about this. <laughs> um, this is a book. Uh, it says, Jack Ewan's book reviews. Now, this one's so funny. Um, if I can get it. Uh, yeah, you had to pick a book and read it. And obviously, Monday, January the 20th, whenever that was, my book review, Jurassic Park. Spelt wrong. Okay, things I liked. Now, this is hilarious. I liked the bit when the T-Rex ate the man on the toilet and swallowed, oh, swayed its head from to, to Sid to Sid. Okay, so, yeah, that doesn't happen in the book. And the bit where the Brontosaurus, I am thinking you mean Brachiosaurus, Jack, stood on two feet and made the earth <laughs> shake it is a good book and exciting bits happen and gruesome dead people lay around the pace none of that happens in the book so I'm just writing I'm just the teacher gave me a tick so that means I'm just sort of taking the piss here uh, just watch the film and went yeah she would she'll never read the book so she won't know I did not like I do not like the bit when Dennis died because I liked him because he was a chubby fat even though he was a baddie. The other bit I hated was when the raptors died. So apparently I liked Nedry quite a lot when I was little even though he was the bad guy. Yeah, I mean it would have made an interesting sequel if he'd survived and they were after him like a manhunt or something. Uh, my favourite character. My favourite character is... Alan, because he is cool, he gets uh, reary, muddy, and, and wet. I want his claw, his raptor claw, and I want to met him. Well, I spoke about the claw a minute ago. Yeah, I did want the claw. <laughs> That's hilarious. Best bit in story. The best bit is when the raptors and Tim and Lex are all in the kitchen. Tim and Lex have a fight with, a, with the raptors, but I would never fight with a raptor. Super work, Jack. Gold star. Fuck yeah. That's hilarious. That's brilliant.
Um, and this is my diary. Now this is from primary school. My mum said this is definitely from primary school. Um, cause I, this is 1998, so I would have been about nine, eight or nine, I think. Um, so here we go. This is great. Monday the 27th of April 1998. On Saturday, Mum took James, not James Robinson, me, Catherine and Gary and Lu also Louise, shopping. Okay, you won't know those people. Uh, we went to into QD, so people in Britain will know that QD is a shop called Quality Discount. <laughs> Toy Master. Had dinner at McDonald's. McDonald's. Okay. So McDonald's, yes, as well. And as we went into the QD again, I saw a bookstore. I had one pound, I think that's one pound. And I asked the bookstore keeper, have you got Jurassic Park, the novel? He said yes. And it was one pound. So I bought it and had it as my reading book. On Sunday, Mum took Gary, Catherine and James and Louise to football, blah, 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 blah. My teacher wrote, what a busy weekend, Jack. And then I replied, yes, it was. <laughs> so stupid. So that's everything that I missed out in my first video and all the new stuff I've gotten. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I mean, it's a little bit different. Uh, yeah, and I, I think I've covered it. Um, now, there is one thing, yes, that I've forgotten to put into my collection uh, that I'm now going to talk about, which is my first Jurassic Park collection video on YouTube. Um, I have so many thank yous I want to throw out there to people. I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched it, obviously. All the people who've commented, all the people who've, who's liked it. I mean, I made it just out on a whim. I didn't realise it was going to be this popular. Um, I just wanted to talk about my collection and the history behind it. And I never expected it to get over half a million views. Um, that's just amazing. So a big thank you to anyone who's watched the first collection video. And thank you to anyone who who might watch this one. Um, yeah, I mean, keep checking out my videos. I've got movie reviews coming up. Um, this isn't going to be the last time I'm going to talk about Jurassic Park because uh, in the near future I'm going to do a dinosaur movie marathon playlist where I review I review um, loads of different dinosaur films and I'm going to end on the Jurassic Park trilogy and then all my opinions on the trilogy. So be sure to look out for that in the future. Um, thank you once again. I'm just so thankful for this um, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Not that it has anything to do with Jurassic Park, but I was going through my school stuff and I uh, found this scrapbook from year one of school. And in it is just loads of random drawings and all this sort of stuff. But when you open it on the second page, there's Wolf from Gladiators. Wolf power. This is Wolf, Jack, aged four. <laughs> what the fuck?